Hey everybody, this is Andrew from TS for Tech, and today I'm going to be taking a look at this 16-in-1 docking station or docking adapter for computers, laptops. Uh, you can use this with Mac, you can use this with Windows devices. Pretty much just like a general all-in-purpose multifunction USB-C docking station. So like I said, this does have USB-C. It has a host connector for your computer. You can also charge your computer using the USB-C cable. It has a USB 10 gigabits per second port. Uh, it has a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Uh, network cable, three HDMI, two US, or a USB 2.0, two USB 3s, and then four USB 10 gigabit uh, per second ports as well. So quite a, quite a bit of actual ports on this thing. And this is from a company called Elec. I don't even know how to say this. Like Elecife, like Electric Life, Link to a Better Life. So Elecife. And you can find this on Amazon. I'll link to it in the description and all the specs on all of these different, uh, you know, port configurations and things like that. Uh, this does have quite a bit of functionality. So you basically open this up. And you'll see there's a couple of boxes on the inside. Get a user manual. This is uh, the the model is 5G01. Oh, the other cool thing about this uh, that it's not really stated on the outside of the box, but this does have an uh, M2 solid state drive ability as well. So you can add an SSD to this and actually use it as external storage. So you get basically, and with that, it does support M uh, M.2 NVMe and and SATA protocols couple different physical sizes of the actual SSDs etc so yeah like I said it has uh, three HDMI ports and they do have all various compatibility with you know like what resolutions so like HDMI 1 has 4k 2k 60 Hertz you know it's got obviously downward compatibility 4k at 30 Hertz 1080p 720p so Again, there's like way too many specs for me to like read out here. So I will link to that in the description and you can take a look at it. So there is an app called Instant View that uh, it says very important to install prior to using this. It helps you manage the device. So that's that. Get here, AC adapter to plug it in. And then you also get the actual docking station itself. And basically, as you can see, there's it's a combination of metal. So this is kind of like aluminum, metal, and plastic. It has a rubber, rubberized bottom, and then the front of it has basically the 10 gigabit or 10 gigabytes a second USB port. It has a USB 2 port, has a USB C port, and a headphone jack. So that's nice. And then on the top, you can install the SSD, and you can see there's different. Looks like a different. Uh, holes that you can put these little rubber clips in to hold in the actual SSD. And the top is just held on by magnets. So that's kind of cool. And then on the back, <clears throat> you have quite a bit of connections or connectivity. So you have the uh, power adapter input. You've got your Ethernet adapter, a couple USB-Cs, three HDMIs, and then quite a few US additional USB connections there. So overall, this is a really pretty cool compact device. Not too big, not too small. So that's pretty cool. So, you know, what I wanted to do here, obviously just do an unboxing. I'm gonna go ahead and set this up and, and connect it to my computer and, and test it out a little bit. And then uh, kind of follow up on the tail end of this with some of my thoughts on, on the operation and if I ran into any issues and you know, all that kind of stuff. So let's uh, go ahead and jump over onto that. So I did set this up with my computer, I connected it to my computer. It's a little bit of a temporary setup because I just wanted to test it out. But here's the device, I've got it plugged in. Uh, it, I did turn it on. So you can turn it on using this little power button right there. And I have this set up, um, obviously the power cable connected. I have the USB-C going to a Acer laptop here. So USB-C connection. And I have an HDMI cable going to my monitor. 
which is this LG LG monitor. And I mean, as you can see, I've got two displays set up. So I'm using the built-in uh, you know, system display of the Acer. As you can see, if I do the identify, that's number one, that's number two. And yeah, I mean, so, so right now, I mean, it's connected via the HDMI and this is at 4K resolution. So if you look here, so it's a 4K screen, 4K resolution there. And yeah, it works pretty good. Uh, I mean, it, seems like it's just as good as being connected directly to uh, the computer. Now here, I'm going to kind of put this volume low. I don't know if I'm going to get a copyright strike or not, but, you know, I can play, I can play Netflix here on the uh, monitor. Everything works fine. Yeah, I mean, I've been playing around with it a little bit and it works great. So, you know, from a HDMI perspective or a, uh, you, know, you know, connecting multiple monitors, um, it should work pretty good. Now, I don't have another monitor available to test the, the dual or triple monitor setup. So unfortunately I can't test that, but everything else uh, seems to work fine. I also installed a uh, SSD inside. I was testing that out. That works fine as well. So overall, uh, this is actually a really, really cool device. I mean, it gives you a ton of connections, a ton of ports. Obviously, USBs work. I, I had already plugged some other things in. Uh, I have not tested the Ethernet cable, uh, Ethernet jack because I don't have a cable handy that's connected to a router. <clears throat> so I'll have to kind of play with that a, a little bit later. But yeah, I mean, overall, seems to be a solid device. Seems to work pretty well for the scenario here of just connecting up my monitor. Like I said, I will link to this device on Amazon, the Amazon listing, so you can take a look at that, read a little bit more about all the different uh, specs and the ports and all of that. Uh, I may, in a future video, once I have this all hooked up and have tested it a little bit more, I may come back and do some tests on the speed of the USB connections and all of that, but you know, at, at this point, you know, for this initial look, unboxing, quick test, everything seems to be working well. If you have any questions, go ahead and post those below. I'll be sure to answer. This is Andrew from TS for Tech. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.